Let's now go into the Google News, which is Google gives new look for trending now section of Google Trends. So Google's rolled out a new look for the trending now section of Google Trends. This new look fits more trending queries on the page and gives it all in a nice list view interface. This new trending now page shows you when the phrase began trending, the search volume, trend breakdowns on a chart. It also has nice filtering options across the top to filter by country, time frame, trending status and relevance. Plus you can export to CSV, your clipboard and RSS feed and an RSS feed. So here it is. Here's an example here. Why we care. A lot of SEOs, content managers and reporters use Google Trends for keyword ideas and content ideas. I use it a lot, a lot, not just keyword ideas, business ideas. Think about it a lot. Timely ideas, seasonal ideas. This new interface can now make it easier for you to research content ideas and topics to cover on your site. If you're an SEO person, you know that. If you are looking to start a business, that's a good place to go to get ideas. And now let's go over here because here's a, an example of it here. And it shows in the United States, trending MPOX. Yeah, that's, wow, I read that this morning. So MPOX, Real Madrid, that's a soccer, Jordan Addison, Molly May, Yogi, you know. So this is what's going on. Chick-fil-A, banana pudding milkshake, Wisconsin election results, so you get to see the trend breakdown. I mean, these are like keywords when you think about it. This is really helpful. And then you see how the trend has been within the last 24 hours. So you can capitalize. And you could go, as you can see, up to 50 pages to scroll down and see what is going on. So go check that out. I think that's a great update. That could be very helpful depending on what you do for SEO or if a lot of your business has to do with trends a lot of marketing should do with trends a lot of marketing that you do should go with the trends because if you don't know what people are searching for or what people want and you're just creating content you won't get the most out of it knowing the trends lets you know what to create to get the bang out of your buck anyway that's it that's the digital marketing news i hope it was helpful that you could put to use